what's up youtube this rose gold back again with another video now check it out thanks for everybody that paid attention to my whitney houston video because honestly i really and i'm and i'm for real i really didn't think i was gonna get that many views on it maybe like three or four hundred but it's like i think almost at a thousand right now and i really i'm telling y'all i really appreciate that the child listened to that and 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 I hope and hopefully y'all went to Leola Brown's page and subscribed and you know left her a message as well or something telling her how you know she yeah happy that she's getting this information out because what I feel like now people is see they they thought well nobody gonna give a damn about Whitney Houston I don't care if I was seventy five years old I would be in the same madness state i am in right now about whitney dog me houston now i do want to share that i did have something wrong uh about that situation and pat see i was just so in my feelings but pat i forgot i don't know how i forgot that sissy uh sissy houston is oh, shit whitney houston's mother so my bad for the bottom of my heart to her mother if she ever come across this video lord knows i don't want no smoke um but no sissy tyson i mean sissy houston is but shout out to sissy tyson dog gone so sissy houston is whitney houston's mother let's get that straight i had that wrong and i also pinned it in my comments of that whitney houston video because it was so many people that said it i mean okay so that's what's up thank you i appreciate that um pat is the the sister-in-law that's, that's married to gary okay gary is whitney houston's brother correct me if i'm wrong on that she's somebody's damn wife but nevertheless shady oh yeah pat and gary shay d understand me anytime you going in and out this woman room uh back and forth real quickly back and forth taking things right taking things being all sneaky yeah you shady all right now this whole situation with Whitney houston is shady as hell and i and see see so leola brown okay and i want to say sorry to bobby brown because uh I, I like i said i was mad as hell so I said Bobby Brown was a little shady. I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to go by what Leola Brown is saying. So, my bad, y'all. But anyway, Ray J ass. Okay, let's get to Ray J. This is what I ain't sorry for. All right? Ray J ass. Okay, it's ironic. I don't believe in coincidences, but it is very ironic. I wake up today and guess what? Ray J's up and down my damn timeline, people. And, and, and shit, he, he, he's on some type of rant, rampage, people. And people are thinking he is talking about he it will, you know, wants to allegedly, Lord forbid, allegedly commit suicide by the things he's he's posting, what, what he's saying. Huh? I don't even care to repeat what the hell he was saying. That's neither here or there with me. Look it up. But I tell you what I do care about is Whitney Houston, 10 gashes in her damn chest, skin off her back, face beat up so bad, swollen up. Huh? No, uh, I got another problem with no drugs. I repeat, no drugs. I repeat, no drugs in her damn system. But they told us what? She overdosed. Fell asleep in the damn tub, drowned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what they said. Now, I don't care what nobody say. How dare they do Whitney Houston like that? The queen of R&B. Not only that. Because cause forget that title stuff. This is Whitney Houston. The soul of Whitney Houston. Look, don't. People play too much. This is the stuff I would talk, be talking about. And I don't want nobody to get this uh, twisted. On how I feel about Whitney Houston. I'm not, uh, you know, idolizing her. I don't idolize nobody but God. You feel me? 
the one true God. I'm not idolizing her. It's her essence, her soul, people. And we all know what Whitney Houston meant to all of us. If you a fan, like I said, damn near the whole, probably the whole world, uh, 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 a fan of Whitney Houston. That's like saying nobody likes Michael Jackson. Uh-uh. The whole damn world of Michael Jackson. The whole damn world of Whitney Houston. Stop it. It's just some people are, you'll never get another one. They're unique. And they's got and, and 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 they are God's child. They ain't no damn running out here like no damn full blown demon like we see today. Breaking my heart, man. I'm telling you. Uh anyway, back to Ray J ass. Now it seems like skeletons in some people's closets guess what they are coming to collect message get to this they are coming to collect now why does ray j feel like this all of a sudden now he was just snapping out on kim kardashian and da da, -da this and da da, -da that huh yes she was And everything was fine when your ass was on tour holding your child and you were singing on stage. Oh, yes, it was. Everything was all right. When you was making your Raycon AirPod things, everything was all right. Then you was talking about scooters. Everything was all right. Because why? Because you were still bringing in some dough. Them skeletons... You was ignoring them damn skeletons then. Huh? And don't get me wrong, everybody got some type of skeleton in their closet. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about Ray J ass. That allegedly was there that night. That's what they said immediately, like after when this shit first started. Stop. I ain't, man, stop it. All right? And that piece of paper that Whitney Houston gave Brandy, what the hell was on it? Because nobody even knows what the hell was on that paper. But her. Now, back to Ray J. Ray J is out here snapping out on the damn internet now. Somebody need to go check on your boy. Go check on it. Don't let him go out like that. Uh-uh. Face it. Whatever he going through, no, you better face it. Don't you, don't you, don't you take your life. You, 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 before you leave here, make, just make your, your wrongs right, brother. And give your life to God and hope and pray. And have faith that he is, God is going to forgive you and, you and whatever you going through. And you, and he going to take you in your arm, in his arms. But you, but you bet not. Uh-uh, you, you, you better than that. You better than that. I like Ray J. All right? But wait a minute. Is it that Brandy's brother? No joking, though. Mm hmm That's Brandy's brother. And and, and both of their names had came up in this shit. As far as that damn note with Houston. See, when you pay attention to these celebrities, See, let's go back in time, though. I ain't talking about the celebrities of today. Back in the day. We seen Michael Jackson go through what he went through. We seen Prince go through what he went through. Okay? And at the end of the day, when you don't comply with certain shit, or you want to just leave all this behind and all that, uh-uh, they don't like that. Hmm? Who is they? You know, the powers that be. Huh? The powers that shouldn't be. Mm -mm. Oh. So people start getting paranoid and stuff. And they don't know the trust. Just like Bobby Christina was, she couldn't really talk at first when she was laying in that bed. But what Leola Brown say? She said, she, but she was aware. Huh? And she didn't want certain people by her damn bed in the room, period. Uh-uh. She knew something wasn't right. And whatever she knew, they didn't want her, they didn't want it to get out. And also, 
somebody was in my comments and said, yeah, they did it to Bobby Christina because all that money and stuff was going to be left to her, Whitney Houston's money, and, and whatnot. They don't want to get that, see? Money, money, money. Mm, mm, mm. How could they, you know, how could you do anybody like that? Not just Whitney Houston. Not just Whitney Houston. Bring her in the game and then destroy her. And then kill her. I, I, I keep getting off Ray J's ass. But, uh-uh. Don't do that, sir. Uh-uh. You just face. What the hell are you going through, brother? Uh-uh. We don't we, we, we I know I don't. We don't want to hear that shit though. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Show sure the hell don't. I know I don't. Uh-uh. So that's what's going around. Ray J ass. That's why I really made this video and to apologize for saying that uh Pat was Whitney Houston's mama. It's sissy is Whitney Houston mama. I ain't got no problem with Sissy. But, 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 Miss Houston. But, I tell you this. I got a problem with this Pat and this Gary. Hmm? And then they got the audacity to keep on partying downstairs knowing this woman is upstairs deceased. people like i said i love me some whitney houston man you know from the heart bro like it like as if she was a sister like she was my sister you know what i'm saying and if you know you know you know what i'm saying if you if you follow and this was before we even had following and shit like this this was 80s huh in the 80s when whitney houston came out Late 80s or something. And then she just towed the 90s up. Or did she come out like right in 90 or something? Maybe so. I don't I don't remember. But it was a long ass time ago, right? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Whitney Houston. Nah, she had to come out in the 80s. She came out in the 80s. You understand? That's heartbreaking, bruh. So, again, I thank people for watching the video, and um, I hope y'all went and subscribed to her. Like, this book, I got to get this damn book. <laughs> I got to really follow her and and get this book. Because I want to know, like, man, forget that. I want to know, because that ain't right. Uh-uh, the hell with that. That ain't right, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Whitney Houston, bruh. Like, see, people won't understand. If you, <laughs> if you know, you know. You cannot do this. Oh, my goodness. When I, I'll tell you this before I let y'all go. When I, this is how, look, when I first seen uh, the Bodyguard movie, I will still get teary-eyed to, to this day when I watch that movie. I, like, just a lot of movies, period. It's a lot of movies that I've seen over and over and over. But when it gets to a certain part, I get that feeling all over again as if I this is my first time seeing the movie. Hmm? And now that I think about it, if you pay attention to Whitney Houston's sister in that movie, when she played as her sister in that movie, now that I think about it, the way this is going is sort of sounding like they played out a little bit of, ironically now, played out this movie. As far as that part, the sister the, having the feelings about, like in that movie, even though this is the sister-in-law in real life, but you get what I'm saying? Because she was jealous of her, and she ha had somebody try to hurt Whitney in the movie, and look what's this going on. So... Now that I think about it again, if they say Pat and Gary, P and G, was back and forth, back and forth out of that room, excuse me, could that have meant that these are the people Whitney Houston was fighting? 
Now, I know damn well her own brother wasn't. See what I'm saying? But see, you can't trust nobody. That's why I say it don't matter what title somebody holds in your life. Hmm? If you're toxic, you're toxic. And nobody has to stay around each other if your ass is toxic. You toxic. And either I need to move around, you need to move around, because somebody going to get hurt, right? And, and I live by that. I don't care what title you hold in my life. If you're toxic, you're toxic. And I ain't putting up with that shit. You, you, you can get on somewhere. You can get on somewhere with that. Because who was fighting her? Sad, sick individuals, man. So what y'all think about this Ray J thing? And, and I want to say I love me some Whitney Houston. I don't care what nobody say. And, and may she rest in paradise. And I know God picked her, picked her up in, in, in his arms. Uh-uh. He had to have that beautiful voice of an angel. Stop it. He had to have her back. Now, devil damn sure wasn't going to get her. Uh-uh. He, he might have had his fights down back and forth with Whitney Houston. Yeah, the damn devil. Back and forth with Whitney Houston when she was on this earth. But uh-uh. When she left this body, this flesh, baby. God said yes. Come on home. Damn. Now, was they fighting her? Because somebody was fighting her. Busted lip, 10 gashes in the chest, skin off the damn back, face swollen. Mm -mm. All right, people. So, that's my question. What y'all think about Ray J ass? He's out here, you know, saying certain comments and stuff. I mean, y'all can look it up. I don't even, like I said, I don't even care to uh, say what he was saying. I, I, all I know is people are thinking that, yeah, these are like, mm, he's going on a rant, like a suicide rant, alleged suicide rant thingy. You know what I mean? Like, like, like he may want to commit suicide. And people are like, don't ignore this. You know, y'all need to check on your boy. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Check on your boy. Uh-uh, don't go out like that. No, check on your boy. And like I said, see, some people's skeletons are coming to collect. Look at Mason Diddy. You see how Mace said that? Biggie ain't got no receipts. He dead. Black Rob, he ain't got no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack, he, he can't give you no receipts. He dead. That's how he said that shit. Huh? See, you gotta read between the lines, baby. And what may say? He was the only one that didn't sign some type of literature that said he couldn't talk about nothing. He said he didn't need money that bad. Uh-uh. Now, now, P. Diddy won't say, oh, yeah, you was a fake preacher. You sold your soul. Shit, you been sold your soul, P. Diddy. Who's behind Biggie? And like I always say, P. Diddy ass, Mr. Take That, Take That, his ass ain't never off the table, for, especially behind Biggie. You, your ass ain't never been off the table, boy. Just can't nobody get to your ass. And, may, and I ain't talking about doing you no harm. I'm talking about can't no, you, got, you got too many people taking up for your ass. That's in higher positions than your ass. And, and that's the only reason why. Let's get this straight. So all y'all that's, that's in, that's got these skeletons and shit, all y'all some cowards. For either not standing up for people or, or you was involved with some of the shit that had been done to these people. When I'm Rose Gold, I'm out. Message.